Hey everybody, today I'm gonna show you how I install a pre-hung door. It's really easy. Um, a couple things on this specific door that are gonna make it easier is my floor is not really out of level, but I'm gonna show you how to, to address that if yours is. So, um, hope you guys enjoy this little series. I'll have a couple little videos that I can show you going. If you have questions, let me know. All right guys, so the first step that we're gonna do together is we need to check how out of level your floor is. If you're like me and on a slab, uh, that door right there was about an inch out of level like this, which is insane. So it's a big difference. Luckily, looking at the level here, it's actually dead on. So how I'm gonna address that is I shouldn't have to cut each jam, but if your floor is out of level and it happens to be your high side over here, measure the distance between the level and the floor and you'll be cutting your jam on this side. You can also create lines somewhere in the middle of your door and you can use it as a reference line and mark, um, mark your door jams with a pen and measure the distance from the top so that your header is level. That's the same measurement then your header is gonna be level and it's gonna be easy to make the sides plumb, header level, and your reveals are all gonna be consistent. So luckily, this door is gonna be a lot easier than the last couple doors I've installed. Um, but if you have questions on what to do on that high side, make sure to- Hey guys, so I have just set the door in the rough opening. Um, things are looking like this is gonna be pretty darn easy. So the only thing I don't like is that these doors come with the ability to be on top of carpet or a hard floor or hard surface like we're on right now. This is too much in my opinion. So it's a simple change. I'm probably gonna cut probably a half inch um, off of the door. But before I do that and I regret it, I'm going to probably just screw this into the wall temporarily, open the door and make sure my door swing doesn't hit the floor somewhere. Cause in this house, I can have a lot of change in a little area. So I'm gonna cut these off. It makes it easier to move the door. I'm gonna tack the door in temporarily, open it, check that. And if we can, I'm gonna go ahead and take that half inch off there and it'll make it a little bit easier. So fair enough, easy enough. All right guys, so I have temporarily secured this door to be able to check the swing. I have about an inch, I have exactly an inch actually between that. So I'd like to get it more closer to a half an inch. So with the door secure, checking that, it's well and clear. And typically, it's that far corner that can strike. So let's see how far off that is. That's off seven eighths. So I would easily be able to take a half inch off this door. It'll keep the light down a little bit. It won't be as, as you're walking straight onto the hallway, it'll just be a better look. So we're gonna go ahead and take a half an inch off of each jam. All right guys, so now that I've marked my half inch, I'm going to use my little speed square as kind of a guide for my cut line, make it a little bit easier. Bring this up. What I'm going to do is come over here, get my blade lined up. And now we're going to cut the other side. I cut out all of the um, straining moving this door so for your own good. So here we go. off of each side of this door. I'm gonna stand it back up, place it in said door. And we're gonna start working on it. So the next thing we wanna do after we cut our jam down, we wanna double check our rough opening and make sure the opening itself is plumb. 
So I don't have an eight foot level, which would make this a bit easier, but the person who blocked this in last time actually did a pretty good job. So yeah, this side is good. This side, however, good up top. A little bit proud right here because they put a shim I don't know what they were doing or what they were thinking, but it's fine. I'm just gonna shave this down a little bit and we should be fine. After I do that, I'll put a shim between, uh, behind each hinge on this side, and then I will screw through it, secure the hinge side, and then make sure my reveal is consistent and then go on and set this side, all while making sure that the door itself is flush with the back wall on this side. So what I have done is I've actually taken the door off of the jam because it's gonna be easier for me to work and make sure it's flush or uh, flush on this side and all that while I don't have the door on there. So the next step on the hinge side is I'm going to make sure that I'm plumb and equal with the opening itself. That looks good. So it's plumb going back and forward. Now I need to check if it's plumb it's perfect there. So that would be ready to be secured. And then once I secure this side, I will get on securing this side, all while making sure that the header is level. So. Secure. It's right there. Good enough for now to see where we're at. So the next thing, what I did was I took my little level from my speed square, double checked my header to make sure that this is not plumb, this is level, perfectly level. And then I set just a quick tack nail up there to make sure that I am flush with the wall and all that good stuff. So the next step is to start shimming in. First, I'm going to double check that this is actually 100% plumb. And I need to knock the door in a little bit this way. pretty easy and now I'm just going to repeat this process on a couple other brace points and we will put the door back in and install it. So now I've secured my right striker side of the door and secured the hinge side of the door. I'm going to do one final check. Perfect. Perfect. And also don't forget to measure so the door is not tipping in and out 
Otherwise, you're gonna have a door that closes by itself and your house is gonna be haunted. Yeah, we are good. So after that, I'm gonna go ahead and install my door. I'm gonna throw in a couple more nails. Um, I might throw some screws in on the underneath the hinges, which is a little trick I do um, to give it just a little bit more um, stability. So here we go. All right, so we've switched camera angles. I have my hinge pins here. We're gonna go ahead and lift this door into place and check all of our reveals. bit of adjustment on this top here my header is level so my door is sagging a little bit I'm gonna double check that the hinges on the door are not loose and then we're gonna try this again all right everybody so I've made some minor adjustments um, when I close the door my reveal over here was larger than my reveal over here I realized I made a mistake. I accidentally lifted this side of the jam to make the header perfectly level. That was throwing out everything out of square. So I tried a couple different things. I tried altering the hinge a little bit. That didn't really do much of anything. So I actually cut my pins and lowered that back down. So now my reveal space is um, perfect. And then I have a very even eighth inch reveal on that side. And even after that, bring it up to here, it still still shows as level. So now your eye won't get caught having a weird reveal that's inconsistent at the top. And that is how you put in a door my way, which you guys probably have your own better way, but here's my way. I did it my way.